<laughs> you know what you need? Oh. Charisma. It's all right for you. You're a lot out in Africa. It's different out there. You, you lead a more natural life out there. You're closer to nature. I haven't been close to nature since last Christmas. <laughs> Wasn't all that close then. <laughs> ah, it was a big mistake. We got married during wartime. You know, glamour of the uniform. <laughs> yeah, we're on ration then. Been on ration ever since. So he was in the war. Oh, yeah. What was he in? The Royal Air Force. Oh, <laughs> blue cream boy. <laughs> He's bald. Yeah. There was a shower that lot. Fought the war in carpet slippers. He stopped. Ah! You frightened him. I didn't. Of course you did. It's all right. The dark gentleman didn't mean it. No, no, no. No, he's that colour because he comes from where the sun's very hot. Yes. And he has to be heat resistant like the non-stick pan. <laughs> He won't eat you. No, no, no. His dad might have, but he won't. <laughs> oh, shit. Ah, now, here's somebody who knows what it was like to go without during the war. <laughs> what about 1940? Why? Oh, what well. happened? What happened? Ooh. That Battle of Britain, mate. He must have heard about that even in your remote outpost. He <laughs> must have beat that, beat that out on the drums. Huh? <laughs> Battle of the Great Iron Birds. First of the few, mate. I'd heard that people who really saw action never talk about it. Oh, well, you know why, don't you? Because nobody listens anymore. They're not interested. They just want to forget the whole thing, that's all. Yeah. Oh, they're just a couple of puppies on Armistice, Armistice Day, that's about it. Yeah, the parades get shorter every year. They can't even be bothered to keep quiet for the two-minute silence, now. They'd rather hold a pop festival any day. <laughs> Do you know, I often wonder what we save this country for, you know. Nobody's interested anymore. Ma, God, they soon forget what you've done with them, don't they, eh? <laughs> Uh, there were no flags up for me when I came home. No banners across the street saying welcome home for me. I hoped I wasn't coming. <laughs> Hello, Biggles. <laughs> uh, it's not too bad, is it? Looks fantastic on you. Yeah. Of course, I've got the figure to carry it off, haven't I? <laughs> uh, yes, I think perhaps. Uh, yes, I think perhaps tonight's the night. I think perhaps she is going to be rather surprised when she sees me. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> just, uh, just thought I'd let you know the taxi's arrived, Miss King. Yes, I'm nearly ready. <laughs> Mr. Rigsby. Well, uh, <laughs> what do you think, Miss James? <laughs> well, yes. You look very distinguished. Oh, thank you. Well, I've always believed in paying for dressing, you know. <laughs> I think it's the shoulders that does it, really. Yeah. And after all, it is your birthday. We've got to celebrate it in the proper fashion, haven't we? Now, I've uh, taken the liberty of a little corsage for you. A corsage? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's got a pin in. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Hang on, Mr. Yes, <laughs> Uh, I hope you don't mind. I've uh, brought you a little present. Oh, Mr. Rigsby, you shouldn't have. Just a small token of my esteem, Miss Jensen. Oh, thank you. What is it? Perfume. Oh, how lovely. Yes. Yes, it's called Ritual in the Dark. <laughs> I don't think I know that one. No, no, you wouldn't. It's very exclusive. It's, uh, it's for the woman who has everything. Well, almost everything. <laughs> I thought of you instantly. Yes, it blends the scent of limes with the subtle aroma of sandalwood and tangerine. Uh, combined, of course, with various aromatic oils known only to the eunuchs. Guaranteed, <laughs> I believe, guaranteed to set the senses reeling. It's very kind of you, Mr. Rigsby. It, uh, it also contains an atomizer spray, yes. uh, dusting powder, moisturising body lotion and uh, perfume bubble beads. It's very, very kind of you. Uh, so much, uh, glad you. Glad you like it. Would you like to... Uh, I'd like to try a little drop now behind your ear. Oh. Somewhere else, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you like. Certainly. Oh, not, not too much, Miss Jones. <laughs> We've got to get you through the street safely. <laughs> there. May, may I? Oh, I will. It is intoxicated. <laughs> Trust him to show a clean pair of heels when it comes to the fair. <laughs> Right, now, 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 look, Philip, look, um, before we go in, it's all right, don't be nervous. What? <laughs> if anybody says anything to you, you're with me, OK? Yes. Right, good. Now, here we are, you see, swing doors. Now, you've got to be careful here, because they're a bit different from the old beaded curtains. You see, you've got to be very sharpish, otherwise... <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> and where do you 
think you are going, sir? Just going in. Oh, no, you're not. Outside. You mean outside? I've got a table. Tables are all taken. I know, I've booked one. Uh, <laughs> Hello, Why, good evening, Mr. Smith. Is there some difficulty? Who is this gentleman with you? Uh, yes. Oh, I'm sorry about that, sir, but one can't be too careful these days. <laughs> Your usual table. Thank this you. way. <laughs> Look at him now. Look, look at this. Look, look. look at that. Look. He'll be arching his back past under the tables in a minute. <laughs> I feel very sorry for Miss Jones. You know, she can't be enjoying it. It looks as though she's having a good time. No, no, she's just being polite. She'd much prefer a slow waltz. Now, that's what I'm going to score. He couldn't do a slow waltz to save his life. His feet are all wrong. If he tries a reverse turn, it'd be arse over elbow. <laughs> You'll wait till they do a slow waltz. If this Question is, where is he now? You don't think he's still out there? Well, he could be. Then again, he could be in the house. Oh, Mr. Rigsby? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I should leave your side tonight, Miss Jones. What do you mean? Well, I mean, what was he doing up here in your room? You don't mean? Oh. He didn't come up here just to leave a box of milk tray, did he? <laughs> huh? I mean, you could have been another victim of the permissive society. Are there really people like that, Mr. Rigsby? Oh, you'd be amazed. There's a lot of it about, Miss Jones. <laughs> yes. Yes. I wonder why those two didn't come down when you scream. I suppose they could be in bed. Yeah, they'll be suffering from another energy crisis. You mean they've no heating? No, I mean they've no energy. Yes? Ah! Oh, don't, don't be alarmed, Miss Jones. This gentleman's a police officer. Oh, I'm so relieved. You don't know how glad I am to see you, officer. I'd just like to ask a few questions. Of course, questions, I knew you were a policeman. You look so clean cut. <laughs> and resolute. Don't you think so, Mr. Rigsby? Can't say I've noticed. I'm sure you'll soon catch him. You look so determined. Yeah. And then what'll happen, eh? I suppose they'll pat him on the head, tell him not to be a naughty boy. He'll be remanded for a report, and there'll be three doctors saying he had trouble with his potty in early infancy. <laughs> Uh, you haven't noticed anything suspicious in the last couple of days. I mean, nobody's followed you home. Nobody's made advances. No. <laughs> oh, there was a man on the train. He had a leather jacket with his name on the back. Steve, I think it was. Yes, miss? He was singing. They tried to tell us we're too young. <laughs> his eyes were burning into me. Well, what happened? He began experimenting with the light switch, so I moved to another compartment. I thought he might have been a hell's angel. Oh, that's hardly likely, miss. They usually travel around on motorbikes. Well, I thought he might have had a puncture. What happened, Mr. Rigsby? <laughs> you know what he said to me? <laughs> he, he, he said I was an honest man. He could tell by my face. <laughs> it's the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me, that. <laughs> Can't make many arrests, can he? <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, what the committee are going to say when they find out I'm sheltering a Marxist, I don't know. I've told you before, I'm not a Marxist. Mm, not much. Well, who, who's, who's that on the wall then, eh? Not your granny, is it? Eh? <laughs> Another sworn enemy of capitalism and shaving. <laughs> what, what, what have you Marxists got against shaving, anyway? Look, I'm not a Marxist. As a matter of fact, I'm a Maoist. Ah, yes. I notice your eyes are getting quite horizontal these days. <laughs> Must be all those crispy noodles you've been eating. <laughs> anyway, how, how can you be a Maoist in a local election? Well, as far as I can see, it's a straight fight between Conservative and Labour with modest intervention from the Liberals. So unless they're putting someone up from the Lotus House, your vote's going to be wasted, mate. <laughs> yeah, okay, and where do you think you're going? Just taking a newspaper down to Marilyn. No, you're not. I want you to keep well away from her. Why? Because I said so, that's why. Look, that's not a reason. As soon as we get an attractive woman in the house, you start walking around like a head eunuch. Yeah, because, I mean, it's for your own good. You, you, you be out of your depth with a woman like that. You don't want to start the nosebleeds again, do you? I'm going to look after myself. No, no, it's not just a question of that. I've had complaints. Miss Jones thinks she's... Uh... <laughs> oh, no. I think she's a fallen woman. A fallen woman? Yes. Well, what were you doing in a room last night? Trying to pick her up? Yeah. <laughs> now, look, just because somebody's a bit heavy on the eyeshadow it doesn't mean they're no, a fallen no, woman. No, it's not just that, but Miss Jones has got the curate coming round tonight. What's he going to say? Well, I thought he was supposed to save fallen women. Yes, well, he is. Well, ask him to save one for you. This one's mine. <laughs> now, look, you're only jealous because she fancies me. No, no, it's not you she fancies, mate. Your money. <laughs> well, you, you don't mean she's yes. a... Yes. <laughs> Oh, I think that kind of thing's degrading. Right. I mean, not for the woman. No. It's for the man who yeah. stoops to it. Lowest of the low. Contemptible. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> what are you staring at? 
Have you ever, um... Certainly not. <laughs> Man in my position, a respectable pillar of the community, man. I'm sorry, Rigsby. I don't I... should think so. I can honestly say with my hand on my heart, I have never been tempted in that direction. <laughs> not for years. <laughs> what about the war? Ah, that was different, wasn't it? Yeah, that was in France. Yes, I was just a young man then. No more than a boy, really. Far from home. Outside the tramp of marching feet, the sound of gunfire. And inside me, poised on the threshold of a new experience. Mm. What was it like? I'll tell you what it was like. The German scored a direct hit on the bedroom. That's what it was like. <laughs> what, you mean you never... No, I never. No, 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 no. The lights went out, the roof fell in. I thought, if this is sex, they can stuff it. Do you object to my dancing? Yes, I'm a... F you dance? <sighs> Oh, you're a dancer. Well, I don't suppose you consider it dancing, but I do. It's very artistic. <laughs> I suppose if I was with the Royal Ballet, that would be all right. But just because I'm an erotic dancer... Oh, ah, an erotic dancer? I'm sorry, we all thought you were on the game. <laughs> I could have been classical. I had the talent. I just grew too much. Uh, yes, yes. I guess I can see that, yes. But, uh, perhaps I've been a bit hasty then. Uh, you mean I could stay? Uh, yes, yes. Well, let's give it a try, shall we? Oh, you're more understanding than my last landlord. He turned me out. Of course, he objected to my partner. Your partner? Yeah, Charlie. You want to see him? Uh, Charlie? <laughs> oh, my God! It's a snake! You've been touching him, yeah. It's too cold for him, really. You have to poke him. No, 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 don't bother, no. No, it seems a pity to disturb him. He looks so peaceful. He came out of that room. Talk about blind terror. <laughs> I haven't seen panic like that since 12 was trying to get in the same life jacket at Dunkirk. Yes, I can just imagine you at the high table, shouting with the sauce bottle and wiping your butter knife on the table. <laughs> I don't wipe your butter knife on the table. You wouldn't even know which way to pass the port. Assuming you haven't let go of it, of course. <laughs> well, me, of course, I made a study of these things. Oh, of course, you've got breeding, haven't you, Rigsby? Uh, you've noticed, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, it's not generally known, this, so keep it to yourself, but... Uh... My grandfather was a bastard. <laughs> what, you mean he was cruel to you? No, 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 no. He was a real bastard. <laughs> he was the... Uh, he was the natural son of... Um, you know, of someone. <laughs> Who? Ah, oh, no, I can't tell you that. Suffice it to say I'm related to one of the most powerful families in the land. I don't believe it. It's true. How much do you think Grandad got the horse and cart? Hush, mummy. <laughs> <laughs> No, I shall never want. Only got to turn up with the drawbridge. I'd recognise the family features that'd be made. I bet you would. Yes, oh, you go. Oh, yes, jealous just because I've got a dash of nobility in me. Well, how can you tell? It's in the blood. I've only got to hear the hunting horn. My ears start pricking, my nostrils twitch them away. <laughs> Sounds as if you've got a dash of fox sound to me. Oh, yeah. Very funny. You can laugh. I've always known it was different, someone set apart. It's the same when the royal coach goes by and she sees me. Our eyes meet and. And she waves just, just that little bit longer. I can say she's thinking, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's one of us. Yeah. Don't you mean one of them? No, I don't. What about a waltz, then? <laughs> what about a waltz, then? What about a waltz, then? Touch me! 